We're going to try to finish up homework 3-2. This is question number 17. Find the x and y intercepts if they exist and graph the line. So here we go. I'm going to tell you, encourage you to do a little chart. Hold on. Here we go. All right, do a little chart, and you'll make it x's and y's. Let's let x be 0. If we let x be 0, I'm going to do another color. All right, if x is 0, y would be 5 6 times 0 minus 2. 5 6 times 0 is 0, and 0 minus 2 is negative 2. So my y-intercept will be 0, comma, negative 2. Now if I let my y be 0, I'm going to solve the equation 0 equals 5 sixth x minus 2. I'm going to need to add 2 to both sides. So I have 2 equals 5 sixth x. Now I'm going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal. 6 fifths. So the 6 fifths times 5 sixths, those, that's 1. So I'm left with x equals 12 fifths. So my x-intercept is 12 fifths, comma, 0. And what was my y-intercept? 0, negative 2. So my y-intercept on my y-axis is negative 2. My x-axis intersects it at 12 fifths, which is 2 and 2 fifths. So about right there. So my line is like this. Number 18, find the x and y-intercepts. If they exist and graph the line, I have 3x minus 2y equals 0. If I let x be 0, 3 times 0 minus 2y equals 0, that's 0, so I have negative 2y equals 0. <coughs> I'm dividing both sides by negative 2. 0 divided by negative 2 is 0, so y equals 0. I don't have to uh, plug 0 in for y, because if zero, uh, y is 0, then x would be 0. So both my x-intercept and y-intercept would be 0, 0. Now if I go graph this equation, there's my intercept. <clears throat> my equation was 3x minus 2y equals 0. I only have one intercept right there at the origin. So now I'm going to pick any other number for x. Let's let x be 3. I would have 3 times 3 minus 2y equals 0. 9 minus 2y equals 0. So if I add 9 to both, or sorry, subtract 9 from both sides, <clears throat> I get negative 2y equals negative 9. Now dividing by negative 2 on both sides, I end up with y equals 9 halves. If I get a decimal, that's 4 and a half. So when x is 3, all the way out here, y would be 9 halves. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and a half. My second point is going to be right there, right here. So here we go. My line is right like that. Number 19, find the intercepts. I'm going to let x be 0. So I would have 30y equals 20 times 0 plus 120. 20 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 120 is 120. That equals 30y. Dividing by 30 on both sides, I get y equals 120 divided by 30 is 4. My y-intercept is 0, 4.
I'm going to go plug that in. My y-intercept of an ordered pair would be 0, 4. And if I were to graph that, 0, 4 would be right here. Okay. Now let's go let x, uh, sorry, y be 0. If y is 0, I get 30 times 0 equals 20x plus 120. So 0 equals 20x plus 120. I'm going to subtract 120 from both sides. So negative 120 equals 20x. Dividing both sides by 20, I would get x equals negative 120 over 20 is negative 6. So my x-intercept is negative 6, 0. To plot that, negative 6, 0 is right here. So my line is like that. Number 20. For x equals negative 1, identify the equation as a horizontal or a vertical line, graph the line, then identify the intercepts. All right, x equals negative 1. So no matter what my y is, on my x-axis, it's always negative 1. So I'm going to plot just a bunch of points here when x is negative 1. And if I connect those line, or those points, I get a vertical line x equals a number is always a vertical line. x equals negative 1 will look like this. And part 3, okay, intercepts. It only intersects the x-axis, so my x-axis, or my x-intercept is negative 1, comma, 0. For the y-intercept, there's not 1. All right, number 21. What about y equals negative 3? y equals negative 3 is going to be a horizontal line. No matter what x is, y always has to be negative 3. So down here, y is always negative 3. The graph of that y equals negative 3 is a horizontal line that looks like that. So my y-intercept will be 0, negative 3. There's not an x-intercept. Go back up and look at the graph. That line never crosses the x-axis up here. Number 22, y plus 2 equals negative 2. y plus 2 equals negative 2. To get the y by itself, I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. And my equation is now y equals negative 4. We already said when you have y equals a number, that's a horizontal line. y equals negative 4. y-axis, negative 4. y is always negative 4. The graph will look like this. There's not going to be an x-intercept. It never crosses the x-axis. The y-intercept is going to be at 0, comma, negative 4. 0, negative 4. None. Number 23, 5x equals 0. 5x equals 0. To solve for x, I need to divide both sides by 5. 0 divided by 5 is still 0, so x equals 0. When you have x equals a number, that's a vertical line. You're going to go to your x-axis, and x was equal to 0. No matter what y is, x is always 0. So here's your equation, the graph of your equation. All right, write each intercept. X-intercept, it only crosses the x-axis in one place. There at 0, 0. So the x-intercept is 0, 0. But look where it crosses the y-axis. It's on that y-axis, correct? 
So there are infinitely many y-intercepts. Infinitely many y-intercepts. Number 24, explain why not every line has both an x and y-intercept. Okay. What kind of a line may not have an x-intercept? What if the line was up here? That would never cross the x-axis. So a horizontal line may not have an x-intercept, where a vertical line, like right here, would not have a y-intercept. So a vertical line may not have a y-intercept. Select the lines that have a y-intercept. Okay, a y-intercept, that's when x is zero. So y-intercept is when x equals zero. If I plugged zero in for x, this would go away. Could I solve for y? So I would have zero comma eight fifths. This one would have a y-intercept. What about this one? If I let x be zero, y would be three. So zero, three would be the y-intercept. That one has a y-intercept. How about three y equals eight? Well, if I uh, solve for y, I would get eight thirds. So zero, eight thirds, that would be the y-intercept. For this one, if I let x be zero, if I let x be zero, does zero equal eight? That won't work. Zero does not equal eight. There's not an x-intercept. Sorry, a y-intercept. There is no y-intercept because x can't be zero. Last one, a store sells all compact discs for $12.91. The following equation represents the revenue, y, in dollars generated by selling x CDs. So y equals 12.91 times x. Find y when x equals 8. Find y when x equals 8. So y would be 1291 times 8. 1291 times 8 is 103.28. So y equals 103.28 when x equals 8. Now find x when y is 193. So y is 193.65. That equals 12.91 x. So I need to divide both sides by 12.91. On the right, I have x. On the left, I have 193.65 divided by 12.91 is 15. So x equals 15 when y equals 193.65. The ordered pair from number 1, all right, here we go. x is 8, y is 103.28. So what does that mean? Selling 8 compact discs yields $103.28 in revenue. Now for part two, it says the ordered pair from part two is x was 15 when y was 193.65. So when you sell 15 compact discs, you make 193.65 in revenue. That's it.